Welcome back, everybody. This is Pseudonymous BN, and I'm coming to you now with a little bit of an addendum, sort of like a bonus episode, just a short little extra add-on to that last UV mapping video I did. And the reason I'm here making this, even though I didn't anticipate doing anything like this in this series of tutorials, is because this maniac called LM280, who is a fellow content creator for Custom Super Monkey Ball, if you haven't seen his stuff, Check it out, it's pretty badass. Anyway, this guy just commented after he saw my last video and he shared this trick that just blew my mind. I had no idea how to do this before, but it's a trick for trim. You know how in that last video we talked about applying trim to all kinds of wonky faces? Uh, I shared my method for doing that, but he shared this extra trick that is just so amazing. And when I experimented with this, it blew my mind. So I have to share this with the rest of you now. This is a way to do all the trim for your level in just one small series of steps. So I created this chaotic sort of series of platforms all connected together, a bit of a wonky level just to test this out. And what if I told you that we could do all the side trim for every side face like these, these, even these in one fell swoop? Well, that's what I'm about to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go to UV mapping. I'm gonna apply my fill texture first. And after we do that, we can just go straight from this UV mapping window through a series of steps that will get us to where we want to be. So I'm gonna dock this window, just keep it open for a little bit longer. I'm gonna put my fill texture on and that's looking nice. Now, what we want to do first is we want to go into body mode up here in the UV mapping window, and we want to find the faces that correspond to the top of the stage. So it's these two, and we can just instantly use that to map our checkers. We're just going to put our checkers up top, and we're not going to bother scaling them correctly or doing anything like that, because this isn't about checkers right now. That would be the next step after we finish this insane trim trick. So now what we're going to do is just get all the top and bottom faces, which you should pretty much be able to easily find here in the UV mapping window. We're going to select all of those in body mode. So basically after we've selected all of these faces, we're going to hide them. Just right click, hide, because we don't need them. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the UV mapping window in vertex mode. Now we're going to click back here in the 3D window, go to face mode. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click one of the faces we just textured with checkers. Just select that there. And up here in the select menu, you can go to select similar material. Now when we click that, it'll give us this little dialog box, but all we have to do is just click okay. We're gonna have all of our checkers selected. Now you'll see what this did up in the UV mapping window. What that just did for us is it selected all of the top vertices for our entire stage's worth of trim. Now all we have to do is just click back in the UV mapping window. We're going to move all of these vertically up like that. And now we can just do the same thing from before. Flatten them. Same with the bottom ones. Flatten them. This is our entire stage's worth of trim. How amazing is that? We can do it all in one step. We're going to max vertical this to get it scaled correctly. We probably don't even have to do any horizontal scaling. Now with all of this selected, we're going to apply our trim texture. And now look at this. The entire stage has its trim perfectly textured. Every face that we can observe here has the trim perfectly textured. We just did that in one step. This bridge that's curving like that, its trim is textured. This one that's going the opposite direction, its trim is perfectly textured. Even these crazy things up here have their trim perfectly textured. This thing we cut out here, the trim looks great. All of this. We did this all in just one small series of steps, and you can do that for the entire stage. I'm not kidding, guys. So try this trick. I think it'll save you a lot of time. I know it's going to save me a lot of time now that I'm familiar with it. And now that we've finished that trim, we could just go ahead and do our checkers next. So that would be the next step. Thanks for tuning in to this special bonus episode. I hope this trick is as mind-blowing to you as it was to me. Signing out.